Now I'm sure you tell some stories within the organization to inspire people, Paul. Tell us one such story. Let other leaders in the world get inspired as well. <laughs> <laughs> See, the, the storytelling you know, is the best way to actually communicate a message uh, without making it complicated. I like to share personal experiences and uh, you know, very recently I was in a session where somebody asked, what's your leadership? What inspires, you know, uh, what is your inspiration to your leadership? Hmm. I say that, you know, it's a random act of kindness that I've experienced my whole life, right? Uh, so in, in my, you know, there are, there are many stories and, you know, there was just one that I shared recently with my team. Um, uh, considering yesterday was, you know, the day where you remember your mentors. Uh, <laughs> my first day at work, you know, I joined, I was just out of college. I still not, you know, I'd still not graduated, right? Um, and um, meaning in the sense I'd given my exams, but I also got through, you know, uh, got this job with, with a condition that uh, if I, you know, if I graduate, I get keep <laughs> Curve. My parents, as Venkat, you know, you are from Chennai, so parents are very conservative. If you give more money, the kid's going to drink and smoke, so they give the exact same amount of, you know, that is required. Curve. They had given me a certain, like 20, 30 rupees, which, you know, took in, back in the days, it was still a decent amount of money, but... Subsistence but, elements, they call it. That's exactly what it is, right? So I go there. And I meet this, you know, gentleman, Davis Isaac, you know, who I consider, you know, my, uh, my mentor and, you know, a good friend. Mm. So I meet him, he sits next to me, we attend this training. Since he's a, he's a bit more senior, he's, he's at, been getting some salary for a while. Mm. Uh, so suddenly when it's lunchtime and I'm, I'm saying that I'm going to, do, to this place and he says, never met him before. 10 years, my, you know, 10, 15 years, my senior, but still, you know, in his early 30s. Mm. He says, let me take you someplace. And we go have lunch and he won't let me pay for an entire week. He says, you, you earn your first salary and then you buy me lunch, right? Mm. Uh, so it, it was not necessary at all, you know, but that shaped my, you know, the way I, you know, I, I lead, I, you know, I manage a team forever, right? It does not necessarily have to be judgmental. It does not necessarily always have to be performance. You know, take care of someone who's struggling, right? Or who's, who's not even asking help. I was not asking help, but I could have used help. And clearly I have, right? I did need some help. Correct. So there, there are many such stories like this. And, you know, I share those uh, daily experience, which is very personal to me, which shaped my career. You know, I uh, nothing wrong in telling a Zen story or a story from, you know, an epic or uh, from, you know, right. from, uh, from a book, like, you know, what Yuval Harari has written, but I share, you know, I always share my personal stories. So this is one of those. 